heard from uh, just about everybody we're going to hear from. Um, Senator Cruz has a follow-up question, and then I may, <clears throat> depending on time, because we have to get to a vote, submit one or ask myself. So we'll just, and then we'll wrap it up. Senator Cruz. Thank you, Madam Chair. Mr. Washington, uh, first round of questioning, we had a lot of discussions about your lack of experience with aviation safety, but there is another concern that is front and center for this committee, which is you're the first nominee I can recall who is currently entangled in an ongoing public corruption investigation right now while your nomination is pending. This investigation involves an alleged pay-to-play contracting scheme that resulted in LA Metro giving $800,000 in no-bid contracts to a politically connected charity called Peace Over Violence, or POV, to run a sexual harassment hotline that was hardly ever used. A whistleblower has alleged, among other things, that when you were the LA Metro CEO, you pushed forward these questionable contracts in order to stay in the good graces of a powerful politician on the LA Metro board. Last December, you told the New York Times, quote, when I pursued the job in Denver for the airport, much thanks to the credit of the Denver City Council, they looked into all of this and debunked it all, so I would ask Congress to do the same. Mr. Washington, do you still want Congress to look into these allegations? I have nothing to hide, Senator. Okay, good. Well, we are looking into them. Even though you say that the Denver City Council debunked it all, the LA Sheriff's Office determined that these allegations had merit. In fact, last sept September, the sheriff's office executed a criminal search warrant at LA Metro's headquarters based on these allegations. And you were named in that search warrant, not once, not twice, but numerous times. The search warrant authorizes the sheriff's office to seize emails and other communications between you and other individuals involved in the investigation. But that's not all. The search warrant also includes specific allegations that you personally engaged in misconduct. For example, here on page 24 of the search warrant, the warrant says that a witness stated that, quote, although there was no legitimate reason for Metro to outsource such a service to POV in a sole source contract, the contract was pushed forward by CEO Philip Washington in order to remain in good graces with Supervisor Sheila Cool. As a reminder, POV is a charity that received $800,000 in a no-bid contract to run a hotline for LA Metro that was hardly ever used. And Sheila Kuehl is a powerful politician on LA Metro's board who was longtime friends with the head of POV. The California Attorney General's office is now leading the investigation into this public corruption scheme. Mr. Washington, have you spoken with the California Attorney General's office about the status of their investigation? No, I have not, Senator. Well, the Republican committee staff did last week. Uh, we reached out to the California Attorney General's office to inquire on the status of the investigation, and the Attorney General's office said that there is an ongoing criminal investigation into this matter, and the staff said in particular that you have a, quote, material involvement in the case and that the investigation is months away from being completed. That's all bad enough, but even more amazingly, the staff at the Attorney General's office told us that at that time, they were not aware of anybody from the White House, from the FBI, or from the Senate who had contacted them about their ongoing public corruption investigation where you have material involvement. Now, that is remarkable. I understand the chairwoman has subsequently spoken with the California Attorney General his office. But at the time, nobody had talked to them, according to the AG's office. That is remarkable. And it is more than a little troubling. I think it's fair to say California sheriffs, the, the LA sheriff and the California attorney general are not Republicans. They're not right-wing activists with an ax to grind. And the fact that this corruption case is ongoing, it's truly remarkable that this committee is considering confirming a nominee in the middle of an ongoing investigation for public corruption. And I am hard-pressed to think of anything more damaging to the FAA 
then not only confirming someone who is not qualified and has no experience in aviation safety, but secondly, doing so while a public corruption case is ongoing, which, according to the terms of the search warrant, implicates you directly, and if, if, it, if it so happened that you ended up indicted as a result of this ongoing investigation, I don't know if that will happen or not, the investigation needs to conclude, what sort of damage would it do to the FAA to have the administrator indicted on public corruption? Well, a couple of things, uh, Senator. Yeah, and please respond. To oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, that particular contract was initiated before I arrived at Metro. Uh, there has been no findings of wrongdoing by me. Uh, I stand by the work that was done in this contract uh, to... Are, are you saying the search warrant is wrong? When it says th these are the allegations of the search warrant that Philip Washington pushed it forward? Uh, that is wrong. That is false. Uh, I never talked with anyone about that. Uh, that contract. Uh, this was done uh, with a uh, delegation of authority uh, to uh, my uh, department heads, uh, but the allegations are false. Uh, and uh, I talked to no one. Uh, you mentioned super, former supervisor Sheila Kuehl. I never talked to her about the contract. Okay. But the AG investigation is not concluded. Is that correct? No one has talked to me from the AG office. No one has called me from the sheriff office. No one has contacted me about this case at all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Washington, what 